it's Jessica and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. As you may have noticed, I look a little bit different because I finally dyed my hair. It is pink, although it looks a little bit red on camera, but it's more like a magenta pink. Anyway, in the last episode, we uh, finally figured out what the Archon is after. He's after Meridian and um, I did make a difficult decision with saving Pathfinder Reka or the Krogans, which happened to be Drax's scouts. And I feel awful, but I, I stand by like what my decision was and picking the Pathfinder. So hopefully the rest of the story will go smoothly, but I, I just feel a little bit guilty about leaving, you know, Drax's scouts behind. Anyway, you gotta make sure you guys are liking this video, liking it and letting me know in the comments you are liking it so that I can keep making more Mass Effect Andromeda videos. I need to know and hear from you guys or else I won't know that you guys want more of these. Okay, so for this episode, I decided we are going to do Jal's loyalty mission uh, because I feel like it's important to start with that. But before we have, go over there, I'm gonna see if I can talk to Drax and uh, hopefully he's not too mad at me. Like, I feel really terrible about what I did. Now is not a good time to be talking to me, Pathfinder. Drac, listen. Why? Your actions told me no! everything I need to know. Now walk away and give me time to calm down before I do something we'll both regret. Even if I say I'm sorry, I feel like, I feel like, you know, there's no, cause I, I'm not saying that he wouldn't take it as an apology. It's more like, I feel like since the Krogans are so hard-headed, like he was saying, just give me some time to calm down. I feel like just saying anything at, at that point is not a good idea. All right, calm down time, got it. Go. I do appreciate the fact that he was like, please let me calm, well, didn't say please, but he's like, let me calm down and then we can talk before I say something that I regret. Normally, if you're like really hot-headed, like the Krogans tend to be, you just say it regardless, you know? So that, I take it as that Drac does care about Ryder, at least, cause like that's how I see the relationship. So I do appreciate that his character's like that, not jumping to conclusions. Like, I feel like that, that, that has happened with Shepard a lot, even though Shepard tries to do the right thing. But I do like that Drax isn't outright just attacking Ryder. Ryder, what a victory. Now that we know where Meridian is, the Archon's downfall I begins. agree with that, but I feel like it's going to be a long while before we actually get to it. Because this dude is, uh, honestly, it's more scarier knowing that he's looking for Sam. Because he knows that Sam is in Ryder, so it kind of worries me that he would try to make something like Sam for himself, you know? A victory feels good, and there's more to come. You have a good team here, Ryder. Yeah, seems to be working out okay. If you'd like, I can provide crew training about embracing emotions. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll think about that. Okay, let me know. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll see okay. you later, <laughs> Stay strong and clear. I don't know why that, that whole like little bit was so cute, though. <laughs> Hey, Ryder, got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk okay. to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally, I've been waiting for hours. So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. Missing? What do you mean they're missing? They didn't leave voluntarily. No work assignments. Kidnapped by no the cat, probably? Kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. <laughs> what did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know your intel's even reliable? It's reliable. Ooh, okay, it's not that I don't trust the sister, it's just we need to know more information about what's happening. We'll need more than your assurances. Who's behind this? Why target settlers? Ugh, does it matter? Are you gonna not save them if you don't like- That's why not the- trouble? why I'm asking! I need more info! Sid, just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I wanna help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, bombs, Krogan beer. You did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Hey, 
Are you okay? I shudder to think what the Archon meant to do with you. And I hated watching you... die like that. I think of myself as daring and death-defying, but you? Oh, I'm very competitive. I did what was necessary. <laughs> very competitive. No, I like that PB is like actually caring, but we had to because we had to save everybody. I did what I had to to get us out of there. You're made of strong stuff, Ryder. Just don't get yourself exalted, okay? That asshole means to catify us all. <laughs> Can't let that happen. But he's close. He's almost figured out Krogan. It's the scariest thing. Ugh. Let's talk about something Meridian. else, okay? So what's your take? Is this Meridian what we think it is? Everything we've seen, each remnant system we've uncovered, is connected to everything else. The bots, the monoliths, the vaults. It stands to reason that activating Meridian will connect the entire network and rekindle terraforming across the cluster. So you think we're doing the right thing? Well, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. I like checking in with everybody and how they're feeling. But it's it's nice to see PB get attached to Ryder. Not not even like even if I wasn't flirting with her or anything like that. Remember how she was at the beginning? I'm only here to stay for a bit. I'm not gonna hey stick there. around. Hey, she yourself. cares. Question yeah? for you. Shoot. When all this craziness is over, do you think you'll have kids? Um. What? <laughs> Where the heck's that coming from? Jill, the best friend. Oh I yeah, the, asking you about having you kids and whatever. She's starting the initiative's first repopulation effort at okay. Prodromos. It's all she can talk about. It got me thinking. At the end of the day, this whole thing, the Andromeda Initiative, it, we're basically here to spawn. That is kind of true. They're in a new galaxy, and this is not their native home. So it is gonna happen eventually. I, I don't want to be mean about it. It's just like. Yeah, it kind of has to happen. Those of us lucky enough to live through this. Exactly. And there aren't that many to start. We're a disaster or two away from not having enough numbers to survive. Jill's right. At some point soon, we better get busy making babies. True enough. Who knew this thing was just a glorified <laughs> dating service? Yeah, kind of. The biological imperative is kind of a bummer. I, I get what he's trying to say here because Gil is gay. He's not bi or anything. He's 100% gay. So I understand that's kind of a lot of pressure because I'm thinking about it like, do they mean to procreate in the traditional sense? I thought they would have like, it's the future. Would they not have like other ways? Like even now in real life, there are many other ways to have children, not just like the traditional way. You know what I'm saying? So like, is it, is it not like a thing? But I understand the pressure. Um, you know, especially if Gil doesn't want kids, or doesn't want to have kids, or maybe it's the act of doing it with traditional sense. I don't really know, but it seems like it's bothering him, so I understand. So, you want to have a child of your own? I... I don't know. That's never been a thing for me. I mean, you know me. Whatever my gut says in the moment, I do. And I don't right. look back. My mom says that's how my dad was. I wouldn't know. His gun moved on before I was born. Ooh, I don't want to say sorry, but I want to- let's relate to him, because it is kind of like Ryder's dad. In a way, that sounds like my dad. That's not fair. He kept you close, made sure you and your brother came here with him, and he died for you. Yes, but the other decisions he made kept him at a distance. That can be just as bad. I see that. Still. Without our fathers, we wouldn't be here. They brought us into this world. Maybe that's enough. Thanks for talking, Ryder. Sure, but wait, Gil, I don't know what you're trying to get at. This is what I'm confused about his storyline about that whole decision. I, I understand he's saying, like, you know, he's not sure if he wants kids, but is it the act that bothers him or the pressure or, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's not really opening up. Maybe he will later on, but I don't know. That whole conversation kind of confused me. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder? Some old access codes, okay, a little data have to take a look at that too. Sam. We have the Asari arc's nice. last heading. Nav points are set. We can head there whenever you're Being ready. ready for this? Because, like, this is a big deal for her. Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. 
I trust you to find them before the kit do. Yo, that's a lot of pressure on me, bro. Like, what if, like, I don't find them? <laughs> oh, oh, what's right going on here? Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to oh, fix them. Oh, he's wondering if there's a way to reverse what was done. Well, to be fair, we don't know too much about, like, what's happening. Like, you know, like, the whole transformation, we've seen it, but what goes into that? And how their DNA fixes. So I, I don't want to rule it out just yet, because we don't know too much about the Ket, honestly. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes. Yeah, that's learn. the whole point of science. You learn. Thank you, Ryder. What? Jal needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief. Am worse. I? That's not my intention. I'm not trying to be like, you know, because he should grieve. But I don't want to rule it out because we don't know too much about them. That's that's my point. I didn't think about it like that. Because you see him as a friend. I see him more as a boyfriend, but you know. <laughs> That's why I'm here. To observe and right. treat. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. No, I appreciate Lexi being like straight up with a writer, you know? I know this job was a surprise. But you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing crafted evolution it's horrible mm. of course but also fascinating glad you're settling in sink or swim right yeah <sighs> i should probably clean this up before it starts Ew. to smell uh, okay update on jal writer i thought you should know he spoke to jal after some reflection he seems to accept that the process of exaltation cannot be reversed i apologize if i was harsh before i can get a little passionate when it comes to patients of my professional opinion i know you were only trying to help and ultimately we were both wanted what was best for the tempest crew i will continue to run tests and study the data you obtained from the kept facility regarding exaltation but right now i must believe that the evidence tell me which is the exaltation is permanent lexi which is fine i don't hold it against her but it's nice that Jal is kind of like accepting that too. I hope the Salarians find their place on the Nexus. We came to Andromeda because we had a contribution to make. The cat won't take that away. I need to talk to Kalos too about, um, you know, the Pathfinder and everything. Let's see how he's feeling. Oh, the ship manual's useful. That leg of my workbench needed propping up. If you bothered reading it, you'd know that the Tempest is- Are they still fighting? Attack. You can't just meddle with- I got this ship launch ready in record time, Kalo. I know my stuff. And you don't have a shred of respect for other people's. Kalo? Oh, Ryder. Sorry you had to hear that. Uh, okay. A real victory. Our Ark back at the Nexus. I'd almost given up hope. No, I don't blame him. I'm not gonna be like, you doubted me? No. <laughs> The cat won't touch the Barchero again. The militia will see to that. It's horrible to think of Salarians in cat hands, but at least our Pathfinder made it. Thank you, Ryder. I mean it truly. If you ever need a favor, just ask. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. Hmm, that doesn't make it the right way. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. Okay. <laughs> sure. Break? Care for some tea, Ryder? I'd love a cup. It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth tea. Oh. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. You know, honestly, I feel like that I would be in the same boat. I mean, in, in a sense, I kind of am in the same boat since I moved countries just recently. It is kind of weird that 
even though I'm in the U.S. and Canada's not that different from U.S. anyway, but, like, there's a lot of things that I can't find here that I would find back home, and it does make me sad because I'm just like, oh, I can't really, you know, buy this on a normal basis or get that because it would be just back home. It's an exclusive thing back home. So I I wouldn't say that's a pointless feeling because it does, it, it is kind of sad when you leave everything, you know, behind, start somewhere new. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's mm. natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to right. miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads. But it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there. But I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. I mean, I would like to think that aside from the sense of venture and like new discoveries and stuff like that, everybody's driving focus is like a better thing. And usually that kind of comes from like your family and friends, you want a better thing for them. So I'd like to say that. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Writer, that's beautiful. My mother made the implant in my head, and my father created the AI that uses it. I haven't lost them either. Thank you, Writer. Yeah, of course. That was so nice! Can we drink tea more often with her? <laughs> that was really cute. I liked it. Cat! Cat! Protect Thaldia! Writer, Thaldia lives near here. She's our best lead to finding a tool. Think she'll talk okay, to us? but there's also remnants, so that's not good. But I think so. Wait, they're not attacking us. Oh, now they are. That's not a good sign. Oh shit, look at all of them. Alright, here we go. Cat! Protect Soldier! Whoa! Look at this dude. I just want to help. Your wounds, they're self-inflicted? The cat. I can't go back. I won't. Oh. Hush now, sister. The cat are dead. They can't take you. We won't let them. You sound like him. So confident. So sure. You mean Axel? He saved me, gave me a chance to live, and die on my own terms. We need to find him, Thordia. Did she die? Yep. Ishare, brave one. Her last words were Axul. Even in the end, she was devoted to him. 
and Axul's using that devotion to spread hate. The only other person who could reach him is the Moshai. <sighs> I was hoping to keep her out of this. She's always had a blind spot when it comes to Axul. Come on, let's go. All right, I jumped up camps again. I thought one couldn't feel pain injuries, but I did. My back ached from exhaustion and my skin st uh, stung from the where they had cut me. Even after I woke, I can feel the cat in my scars. All I want is sleep. Sending you a bottle of Dream Age will help with the nightmares. I use it myself all time to time. I know I promise not to bring it out, but I wish you would stay on one of our camps. Harvels, jungles are dangerous. I don't like the idea of you alone out there, and it would be nice to have you near. Please think about it. Don't deserve your thoughtfulness. You know I would love to join the Rokar to fight by your side. But the shaking returns whenever I'm around strangers. But it's better if I stay. Thank you for the dream auger. La last night was my first time in months that I did not dream of the cat. It seems to have saved me again. Okay. So I guess she wanted to like end it all because of, because of the cat. And she couldn't stop the nightmares from happening. That must be what it is. We need to talk about Sam. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped to the cat containment field on the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's oh. heart? No, I do not I agree. mean, that was the only way, you know. <laughs> we didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he That's didn't? That's the thing, we had to take a chance. I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. <coughs> I guess this goes back to how everybody's afraid of Sam. Like even in Alex, like memories and stuff like that, how nobody wanted him to do it because they thought it was just like taboo. And then adding on top of that, how the Quarians dealt with everything. It is a little bit scary. So I understand that. But the whole point of Sam being integrated into Ryder is so that he can't be independent without her. So I'm gonna trust Sam that, yeah, even if he did kill Ryder, he still can't, like, advance anymore he would want to because he needs her. Sam would never hurt me. Thank you, Ryder. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam, but my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart, even to save your life. No, I understand. It's just like, this is like, how many times did we die? And it's like, ne it needed to happen. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that even if you don't have cells to prove it. Well, that's nice that Lexi acknowledges that. I can try talking to him for you. That's kind, Subi, but I don't think it will help. What? Talk to who? What was going on? If that should have come to me. Shucks. Oh, Ooh, I'm all right. They're already here. You almost died. What's she doing here? Um, I'm actually looking for you, sir. <laughs> I asked the Moshai to set up a meeting. I don't want us to be enemies. Is this true? Axel, Ryder rescued me from the Ket. She risked her life to- Sloane Kelly saved Kadara. Look how that went. Uh, Kadara's a bad example. I don't condone what happened on Kadara, but one bad experience doesn't define an entire species. Your kind has a history of treating each other unfairly. Just ask the Krogan. How did you- yeah. I've been okay. watching you. You're invaders just like the Ket, except less cautious. What does that mean? You'll know soon enough. Do not trust them, Chauvin. Axel. He didn't used to be like this. He was curious, brilliant. But the Ket, even without exaltation, they change us. Oh, man, it's like, I get that, you know, it is dangerous what he is doing, too, because of, like, what everything that Jal has told us so far, it is kind of dangerous. I get, like, they're trying to, like, save their own people, but it's like you're breeding hate on top of that. That's not a good thing. 
Whoever Axel was, he's dangerous now. Pathfinder. Yeah, Please I'll try to help him, but I can't I guarantee that. Me. I can't let him go. Not yet. Ryder, we just received an emergency recording from Eos. What? Come to the meeting room when you get back to the Tempest. Oh God, what's happening now? It's already All right, let's see what they want. Distress call. Suvi, play the full distress call from Padromos. <clears throat> right away. This is the initiative outpost Padromos on Eos. We're in need of assistance. Tempest, this one is for you. We've got hostiles inbound. No ground activity, but there soon will be. Pathfinder, we need you. Going dark until what? it's resolved. Who who's We're attacking them? LCS. What? Ow. Could use more information than just hostiles and the worry of escalation. Could be he's worried it's not a simple attack. If someone's willing to risk attacking Prodromos, your first outpost. They're trying to make a point. You think it's Axul and all of them? Because, like, the way that he was like, don't trust them. Like, that's kind of weird. I don't know. That's the last we heard? Nothing else? No rider. But also, no alarms. The orbital buoy isn't showing any major traffic. Bradley's military, all about the prep. I bet it's a brownout to present less of a target. Keep the nav fresh. I'll be on the bridge soon. Understood. Well, that's weird. That's very weird. Couldn't digest it without heavy processing. Cellulolysis would be hugely inefficient. Are you still trying to figure out how to eat Helios <laughs> flora? Oh, shoot. I was talking out loud again, wasn't I? All right, I'm not even gonna ask. <laughs> I don't see anybody. Nor do I see anything happening, so this is kind of weird. Sorry to ah! keep you in the dark, Pathfinder, but there are eyes <laughs> on this planet. We didn't see much traffic from orbit. It's there. But hopefully you can get ahead of this before it turns into something bad. See you Okay? Soon. Why didn't you let up the bridge, bro? I just fell into the fucking water! Thanks for coming. Knew you'd be up for it. I need answers. You said there were hostiles inbound. We've had raids. With all our scientific gizmos, we expected okay. pirates. But what? not this. 4-5, repeat. Stockpile complete. Waiting for beacon. Launch on detection. Repeat. 1-2-3. Uh, a record a recorded unguarded beacon? What am I hearing, Bradley? Here's my worry. Maybe the raids we've seen were just a decoy, so someone could do a slow tactical build up in the Black Rock. Tactical? You mean military? No. That was an unguarded voice. He means Rokar. That's why he called us. An attack on our first outpost? Can you imagine how the Nexus they would, not would react? Like that exactly the response. Right, he wants to put wants. us against them so he can prove the point to the Moshe to be like, hey, look, see, I told you, you can't trust them. They're invaders, and they will hurt us just like the cat did. Eos has been through enough. We'll put a stop to whatever this is. I knew you would. I hope I'm wrong, Pathfinder. I didn't want to bring this kind of thinking to Andromeda. Head to Black Rock Tan. I'll transmit the nav point for the signal. Okay. Um, here we go. <laughs> Not exactly a Christmas type planet. The Black Rock signal comes and goes. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception. Okay. Eel still feels frightened. Well, I mean, there's still like the all this cat around too, so that's not a good thing. Reminds me of that poem, Lone and Level Sands. We'll clear the cat off Eos for good. Whatever they can build, we can break. Wait, how fucking far away is this? Oh my god, okay. I'm gonna have to put thick in here. Almost at Black Rock Tand. That is definitely a Roka signal. Understood. Eyes open. have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder. I don't like this. Bradley was right! Oh, Broker shit! Broker on sight! Watch for reserves after the first assault. Noted. Okay, um, let's get out of here. This is not good. That's it. Good work. I'm gonna have to switch to... Uh, yes, this. Sleeper. We're not alone. Is this 
just too far away? Where are they at? Hello? I think we're too far away. We gotta get a little bit closer. Let's go. Oh shit! Sniper. Okay. Get just gotcha. Come on. Oh god, I ran out. Somebody else. Oh, there's another one over there too. Freaking heck. signal. Right. Let's see what they were protecting. This worries me. Roka are not pirates. They're not pirates, but under someone else's lead. Might be a different story. Okay. Oh, here we go. This signal can call dropships to a precise location. Telling Axul exactly where to strike. Bradley, Black Rock was a Rokar scout with the home beacon. Shit. Glad you put an end to that. Okay, we can't let them do this again. I'm not walking away. This is my house. Not sure what you're asking, Pathfinder. We can't risk our first outpost. First successful outpost. Eos had to be. Promise and resilience. What? To give them an outpost, a decoy at the old- Why don't we- Yeah, that's actually a better idea. So we we don't damage, like, anybody surviving out here. Because I feel like showing our outpost and, like, attacking them, that's a bad idea. Give them the old one! We use their beacon. They want a target, let's give them one. On our terms. Site 2 is still powered. You could broadcast from the old comm array. 
Bait and switch it. There we go. So at least Let's that go. way nobody gets hurt. Sam, you have a location for this Rokar beacon? Yes, Bob. Oh. Approaching I didn't mean to cut off Sam. Sorry. Resilience. It was sold as the one we get right. But it didn't have time to get worn down. Got wiped out by Ket. Nerf point marked for Rokar signal upload. Alright, up here. Override works, but... Sam, the door was sealed from the outside. Yes, Pathfinder. It appears lockdown was manual before the power restrictions. Why do that? It wouldn't keep anything out. It would keep something I was about to in. say that. Is there something in there? Okay. Starting Rokar signal upload. Are they heading toward us? The Rokar have altered course. Now might be a good time to take cover. Where are they coming from, though? Uh-oh. Human. I told you you'd know soon enough. The beacon is live. You couldn't stop our scouts. They've bought it. Hold until they're on the <laughs> Dumbass! <ground>. Sorry. <laughs> Whites with their eyes. Got it. Alright. Here they come. Let's do this! Damn, they really weren't okay. planning just to attack us, were they? Right? Like, that's so messed up. We might have to go- Oh, God. We might have to go down there. Go down. Use the shields that we have. He died protecting this outpost, and we left him. We'll make it right, Liam. Okay, um... How do I... Ooh, that's not good. Saboteur? Ow! Reload! Oh! Oh! I'm almost dead! Shit! Hang on. Good this is so I need to back up. This is so dangerous. Oh, damn, I hope so. I need 
health. Where's the health packs? <laughs> Are they running away? What's going on? Fuck. Oh no! Dude, this is bad. I don't have enough health. Looks like a war zone. According to survivors, the cat attacked from all sides. It was a massacre. I'll get you in a second, I promise. Shit, dude. Happy thoughts, Liam. Let's go, let's go! I didn't even finish. <laughs> and Ryan 
is still talking Everyone about Yo's pose and I can't. Don't get out of the way, bro! Dude, move! Oh my god, what the fuck? Where's this guy? Where am I? I'm stuck! Help! Oh no, it's just Leo. Just get the crap on me, dude. That's why. He dead. Is that it? What's this to worry about? Are we okay now? <gasps> what happened? Oh shit! Aksu, the Pathfinder is coming. Mother us. Everyone prepare to defend. It sounds like they're losing All their right. support. Oh, what the? Oh my god, dude, no! I need to get around, hang on. And Liam's fucking dead, boy. Get over here.
car attack is over we'll know what to watch for in the future it can't just be this old man and his hunches special thanks to our friend Jal. it helps to show we're not all on opposite right sides. exactly you can't put that stereotype on every species like axel is doing on humans that man is a racist <laughs> we can't assume anyone could be an enemy right no exactly way to live. we're not planning on it how's the team holding up a little shell-shocked can't blame them Maybe I should say something? I'm if sorry this like. happened. I'm proud of you, but you all deserve commendations. You earned a day off. Ooh. Um, we can't say that because we do need to work. Um, let's just say I'm proud of everybody. Time and time again, you've shown yourselves competent. And this was no exception. The infrastructure you've built, the skills you've developed. Despite adversity, you remain a model for the cluster. So, when do we get back to work? No approval asked or expected. We lose sometimes, but if they have the choice to keep going, they'll take it. This wasn't a good day, but it was another day. You gave them that. Your people, Ryder. Okay. Oh my god. All right. So, uh, the rest of Jal's mission is going to be on hold. Um, so I guess it would be best to go back to the Tempest and maybe talk to him. Ryder, I received a message from uh, Aksul. Forwarding to the meeting room, you should see this. Okay. Jal, I'm in the meeting room. Right behind you, Ryder. Pulling up the message. Jal Amadarov, you always were a short-sighted fool. Helping an outsider instead of your own people. You're unfit to bear your family's name. I'm just gonna tell him I'm sorry, cause like... Jal is trying to do the right thing, you know what I mean, so... I didn't mean to make my enemies yours. Mm. He said similar things before. When we were students, the Moshai paired us together. 
We've never gotten along. He's just jealous of you. He's just jealous. Of what? You're the better man. Well, <laughs> I am better looking. <laughs> That's fact. <laughs> Axul wants us to do something reckless. Let's not give him the satisfaction. Suvi, that woman on the Nexus, she's a widow of one of my pilots. The people you were training to explore the Scourge? Zoe's wife was lost out there. For a fellow pilot, one does the right thing. Like making sure her widow's got enough credits. It's the least mm -hmm. I can do. The most is conquering the Scourge once and for all. Well, I mean, that's nice of Kalo. Like, Kalo is like... He is pretty, like, more... Um, I guess compassionate to, than other Salarians that we've known in the series. You, you know, I, every every Salarian's different, but he seems to be the most compassionate one, which I, makes me like him even more. <laughs> the discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. The Angaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been Definitely amazing. Definitely will help! Angaran expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn yeah, it. Yeah, that's kind of true. I'm confident we'll get there. All right. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Gil, O'Connell and Serena spent months getting our Are they still arguing you. again? You can't just strip and redesign those connections on the fly. Gil, I know you can hear me. The whole ship can hear you. I'm just not listening. You're fighting again? I'm thinking the same, believe me. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode of Mass Effect Andromeda right here. This is the one thing I wish about this game, like the loyalty missions, you can just continue instead of waiting and waiting until you can unlock it. So that is a little bit annoying. But we got some uh, stuff done for Jal, which makes me happy so I can move forward with his... Uh, romance, which is also nice that we were flirting with him too. Probably in the next episode, we're gonna go back to the priority missions and deal with the Archon and Meridian and everything like that. But yeah, it doesn't help that Axel's out here and making it more difficult for us to even, you know, encounter with the whole, you know, Kent and everything. They're blaming us. And I understand the caution, but damn, this guy's being a racist. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Mass Effect and Drama, remember to leave a like. Please let me know in the comments what you think and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for more episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!